Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of Strat India. The Indian Navy's much-awaited Project 75 India Submarine Program has started to gather momentum after long delays. Both the shortlisted parties, Thyssen Group Marine Systems with Majgaon Dock and Navantia with LNT Shipyard, has submitted their bid with 60% indigenous content, which is exceeding the PQ's 45% indigenous content requirements. An Indian Navy's team visited TKMS in March and conducted the field evaluation trials of the offered Type 212 submarine and it has met all the criteria as specified. The field evaluation trials of Navantia offered S8 class submarine is expected to be completed before June 2024. Though the Project 75 submarine program is nearing completion with the induction of all six Scorpion class submarines into the Indian Navy. The much desired technology absorption was not happened as the indigenous level reached up to only 45% in the last Scorpion class submarine. For example, the submarine grade steel HY80, which is used to assemble the pressure hull is still imported from Russia. Apart from that, the propulsion system which includes motor, generator, combat management systems, weapons, navigation and communication systems like periscopes are still imported from abroad. However, other major items like battery, piping, air conditioning and ventilation systems are made by Indian companies. There are some good news as well regarding the submarine grade steel which is a major component of a submarine. The Steel Authority of India Limited along with Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design Bureau and Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory has been developing a submarine grade steel called TMR 292A for underwater projects. This grid, as reports say, could be used for the construction of hulls of submarines being built under Project 75 India and India's fleet of indigenous nuclear submarines. The other major important component of a SSK submarine is its AIP system. DKMS or Thyssen Group Marine System is offering Type 212 CD submarine design fitted with a hydrogen fuel cell based air independent propulsion which is a third generation AIP system with two MTU 4000 series diesel engines instead of one, thus increasing the overall endurance of the submarine. The Navantia LNT joint venture, on the other hand, offers includes S80 plus SSK submarine with 3000 tons of displacement. The offered submarine employs first generation AIP system based on bioethanol processor. However, as far as indigenous effort on AIP systems are concerned, the DRDO developed fuel cell based AIP system is ready and is being manufactured by LNT itself. It will be fitted in the first Scorpion class submarine INS Calvary during her first major refit and will also incorporated in the Project 75 India class submarine if LNT bag this order. Other major equipments like weapon systems, sonars, control systems are currently being manufactured locally by Indian companies. However, major concerns for the equipments like diesel engines, DC dry motors and propulsion systems will remain for the time being. India's conventional submarine force levels comprises a dwindling number of SSK and Kilo class submarines with all the older submarines are scheduled to be retired progressively on reaching the end of their service life. Unless replacements are available within a decade, there is a distinct possibility that the Indian Navy's conventional submarine force levels could dip down to single digits and even fall below vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan. To enable the Indian Navy to meet its operational requirements, 
in its vast area of operation in the Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal and Indian Ocean, there is an urgent need to take some drastic steps to redress this situation. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.